I'm here at the mattress store and this is a spot where I sit a lot of the time when I make videos so I just thought today I would show you some of the stuff on the shelves behind me. Okay first on the top shelf right about here we have some puzzles and some wine cork art. Let me show you. I got this little wine cork bird from my Reddit Secret Santa a few years ago and then there's these three puzzles. The lady that used to be our bookkeeper gave me these puzzles and the deal is if you lose, and I did, if you lose the manual on how to solve these puzzles, well at least these two, if you lose the manual, they're pretty much impossible to solve. This one you might be able to figure out. This one, yeah, there's only one way to do it. Well here, let me just undo it for you and then we'll just leave it up on my shelf all undone. It's all over now. Thanks Sherry, I had a good time with this back when I had the manual. I would undo it and then follow the instructions to put it back together. Did that a few times, it was fun. Also from that same shelf, we've got one of these fancy thermometers. Uh, some wine art that my mom made. And this picture of me and my dog from when I was a kid. There's also a couple of bottles of wine up there. Um, there's some Beaujolais Villages stuff. Right here on the middle shelf, there's some sheets that keep you cool that we sell at our mattress store, as well as like a set of high thread count cotton poly blend sheets, um, really soft sheets. The bottom shelf there is just like a box that came with tiny bottles of wine in it, and then also some books that people gave me. Let me show you what books are over there. Okay, well, this one just ended up over there the other day. It's a style book. Look at this guy in the back. We need to have a contest and try to guess what year this style book is from. The problem is, the problem is I have no idea what year it's from, so I wouldn't know how to declare a winner. And I've looked through, it doesn't have like a copyright date. Principia Mathematica, Understanding Variation, The Key to Managing Chaos, it is literally a book about chaos theory. Ordinary Magic, I think it's a book about meditation, but I'm not sure, I've never read it. Age of Reason, The Writings of Thomas Paine, it's like one of the early books that challenged theology. And then, Ham on Rye. Bukowski's Ham on Rye. This is the book about his childhood. It's rough. It's a good, it's a great read. I'm a big fan of Bukowski, so that's what books are over there. Also on that same shelf is Amanda's To Go Coffee Cup and A Rock from Colorado. Um, now let's do the middle shelf. Top middle shelf is where I keep Pinot Noir. There's another another piece of art by my mom. Also this little Christmas decoration. It stays up there year round, usually behind something. When I was a kid, we had one of these, one of the little gold looking ones that you burn the candles under. I thought it was so cool. So I told everybody in my family, like, I used to really love that thing. What happened to that? And then one year at Christmas, I received like three of them. So this is one of those. On the middle shelf right there is the art from Squidward's house. And behind that is a coloring of Santa Claus. And that's all that's on that shelf. There's a little stack of our work business cards too. On the bottom shelf right here, that's where my junk catches. So there's a lot of pens, markers. There's also a cap gun with caps back there right now, Madison gave me. Some hand sanitizer. The coolest thing that's back there is this. What I really like to do with this is this. Everybody hates it. Everybody around hates it when I do that. One time, our old Jamaican sign guy, he brought in a peddler from the street that was trying to sell these watches, and I bought a bunch of these cheap watches and gave them out for Christmas gifts. They actually were pretty, they were actually a pretty good Christmas gift to give out. These are the kind of watch that you pay like 20 bucks for, at like the imported clothes store, like the place that sells cheap but cool looking clothes. We call it City Trends here, it's like the, Chain. They're not bad. They're, they're actually some of them were really nice watches. Others were really cheapo. Um, then over here, top shelf is where I keep Bordeaux. Middle shelf, wine makes me awesome sign. That's there specifically so customers will read it out loud. They will look at it and be like, "Wine makes me awesome," and then I say, "Me too." <laughs> Happens more than you'd think. And then the bottom shelf, Pokemon toy that my newer sign guy gave me. Some furniture advertisement stuff. Basically I've caught some junk back there. And then down here lower is a spare guitar amp and a penny board. And then over there a little further is a nightstand that I use as like my desk storage area. And then as you can see on this side, that's Amanda's desk storage area and also our shared printer. So I used to have some mattress protectors and sheets up top, but I kind of took them down from across the store. I didn't like the way it looked to have stuff on top of my shelves. Oh yeah, down right here also another guitar amp. So there's just a little glimpse into what's on those shelves behind me. I'm making this video right now knowing that I need to redo these shelves, you know, reorganize them, put pretty stuff on them, which will be another video. So 
This way, we can look back at this video and be like, that's what was on the shelves. And then when I make a new video about it, you can see how the shelves change. It'll be like a before and after. So this is basically the before video. Well, that's what's behind my desk. And I'm curious, like, what kind of stuff do you keep at your job? Um, I know some, some of you probably don't get to keep anything at your job, and then others have like a personal space. So anyway, leave me some comments, and definitely leave me a thumbs up for sharing a little peek into what's behind me. I'm Bird Snake. Thanks for watching. That's all I got.